What are some of the cons or the downsides of having a lab? Well, this idea that you can set things up and follow a schedule is great, but a schedule could also be negative because you're not the only person using the lab. There are other people using the lab too, and you have to consider their schedule. So you may not be able to use it any time of the day or any day of the year. You also need to think about safety. You saw the picture there and you can see that the lab is quite crowded. A lot of equipment are, is in there. A lot of people can be standing around. Five or six people all of a sudden you feel is a lot. Very easy to have an accident or to break some equipment or worse yet someone to get hurt. So you need to be very careful and that is a bit of a disadvantage because the lab is a very closed space. And another disadvantage of the lab is basically it's empty. Now, my lab doesn't look very empty, does it? It looks really overly crowded, it's too, too much stuff. When I say empty, what I mean is there's really nothing for you to shoot that looks interesting. There's nothing for you to video record that looks interesting. Everything is just basically an empty space. Now, you can put things in the space, but not that much. You can't put a house in there or you can't put a sky in there. You can use the green screen so you can put things in the background but that's kind of the limit of what you can do. So one of the big disadvantages is everything in the lab you have to do yourself. There's nothing that's gonna be done automatically. That's different than when you go outside to shoot a video. Everything's beautiful and outside. Even if you're in a desert, that's empty. It's beautiful in a way and really gives you a chance to shoot your video. But in a lab, no, you don't have anything like that. Here's a picture of our lab, and you can see there are people in here. It's already getting a bit crowded, isn't it? So we've got one person here is working on the script, I think. This is a production we did recently. Here's a person waiting for the script to be done, and they're going to read it. They're the talent. You can see with a couple people here, they've got a little chairs to sit on. But after you get more people, it's going to get crowded really fast. I would say 10 people and the lab is completely full. And if you have 10 people, you're really not going to be able to record. Even if you have four or five people sitting inside this room when you're recording, just their breathing is going to be picked up by the microphone. Not to mention, like they make an accident, drop a, sh drop a shoe, drop a glove, drop a purse. Uh, they shouldn't have shoes in the lab, but you know what I'm saying. Walk around and their feet make some kind of noise. They step on something. Somebody coughs, somebody sneezes. That ruins the whole shot. So you really need to have the recording area completely empty of other people. So, hey, that means you can't get many people into here. That's kind of a, a big disadvantage. Here we can see the control room. And what do we have here? Four people, and already we're getting very crowded. We've got one person here doing switching, so they're watching the recording coming in. Here's a person over in the editing area, and here are two people standing and watching, learning, supervising. So right there you can see there's not a lot of space left. I would say three, four, five people, six people is really getting crowded in our lab. And I think that's going to be true in most video recording studios. You cannot get many people into the control room. There's just not that much space. It gets uncomfortable. And you can't have many people in the recording area because it's going to ruin the recording. So there you go. You cannot have a lot of people. And that is a disadvantage of the studio you need to be aware of. If you're filming, if you're videotaping outside, this is not a problem, is it? Because outside is big. Okay, so those are just a few of the things we have around. What's something else that's very useful? I mentioned it inside of the lesson, and you may think, well, that's silly. Of course, that's easy to find, and that would be tape. Tape is a, is a good one. Now, this tape is actually green color, so if I hold it up here, you can see through it because we have a green screen. But if I show it to you on the table, you can see it's green, right? So this is easy to see, so I like the green color. But most importantly, this kind of tape is not easy to be super sticky. It's a little bit less sticky than regular tape. Now, you should be able to use 
gaffer's tape, which is a special kind of tape just for uh, using on a set in a studio. But that's quite expensive and sometimes it can be hard to find and in Taiwan we have a hard time to find it and it costs a fortune when we do. So I'm not uh, stuck on that. I like this tape here. I went to a tape company, asked for their least sticky tape and very easy to see. Nice bright green color there. Okay, you need scissors with that. So you need to carry scissors or a cutting knife or something like that with your tape. All right. Here we have a nice little short HDMI. Inside the studio we have many cables running everywhere, but sometimes it's very handy to have some short ones lying around just in case you need them to connect a couple things together. Mm -hmm.